you going, baby boy? <laughs> He's getting too big. Edelus is a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Edelus' surface is covered by wide deserts of silicate sand, with only a few areas of igneous rock highlands to break the abrasive dust-choked wind. Edelus' orbit is congested with debris thrown inwards by the gravity of the gas giant, oh my god, Antamalka. Due to a high rate of meteor impacts, exploration is highly dangerous. But it can't have landing finally. You know, in a, in a dangerous spot. <laughs> Are you gonna sit down? Okay, um, let's see. Ugh. I have so much cat hair on my face now. Let's take Garrus and Liara. I know, this is my first real planet. Yo, are you eating that cardboard, baby? Aw, Game Sage, thank you so much for the follow. Okay. So we're biotic boys in this squad. Sky. Holy shit, shit is actually falling. Okay, um, so we're just kind of gonna try to drive this monstrosity. Oh, did I? Oh, thank you very much. I didn't realize. I'm not. <laughs> what do you do, baby? I'm not sure what uh, the timeline's supposed to be for all of that. But I feel like we got here pretty decently, quick. So thank you guys so much. That's very kind of you. Ooh, it looks like there's a little outpost over here. Oh, is that like a little... Oh! I can't save! I can't save! <laughs> Setting his spaghetti because we're too far. Move, gonna move. Oh, is he behind us? Is this why they had a distressing? Hey, stop getting behind me. are just atrocious from not blinking. You space bar? Oop. Nobody told me I could jump. Oh, oh shit. Oh, these are all bodies and I'm driving over them! <gasps> oh god, oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sorry, my guys. Our Alliance soldiers. It appears they were lured here by the distress beacon. Looks like these men were under Admiral Kahuku's command. He'd want to know what happened here. Can we do anything about this? This beacon? Liara? Ready. Just lead the way. So 
is this the only thing? So there's another point of interest and then some debris that we could probably investigate. Okay. Oh shit, is this what he wanted to know about? This is the guy on the phone outside of the Citadel, like, tower, right? Oh, Nuggets and Sleeves, can you guys see him? His little head. <laughs> I woke him up. Sorry, baby. <laughs> okay. So. Dang, I didn't know that. Oh, I hope she's dealing well enough with it. Okay, so let's see which way I'm actually headed. I don't know if this is behind us or not. Okay, it is. So we gotta turn around. Why did she beacon? to kill it. So we will just move on. So we to go over this way into the right a little. Oh, okay. Walk around it? Because I wouldn't even look at it. I'm not level? See, because that's why I approached it in the first place. Oh, you didn't have to destroy it? Is it gonna be okay? Because, I mean, clearly I would want to destroy it so it wouldn't keep luring people here. There's also no harm now. Okay. So we're just gonna pop back into the demon. Okay. I'm, I'm really sorry for running over your bodies. Uh, going the right way? Okay. So we need to get over this direction. No, no worries. No need to apologize. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. My beef. Come on. It'll be okay. What does the red mean? Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I want to try to get on more level ground, so I'm going to go this way. Yeah. Ooh, okay, Ooh, we just go straight a little bit. Markers, how do I set markers? Oh shit, no, I want to set a marker. Set destination, right click. <laughs> oh perfect, that's so much easier. Let me fly. there that we're supposed to be? <gasps> oh, there's a body and we just ran over it! Oh my god, no! Oh, why am I the worst at this? Ah, fuck. Oh, dang. Oh, shit. No! <gasps> All right. ID tag recovered. He found Captain Mylan's identification tag. How it ended up here is impossible to know for sure. Oh, I have so much cat hair on my face now. 
Ugh. All right. I know. I feel so bad. Fucking, I'm the worst. Really am. All right. At least, hopefully, at this debris pile, there will be no bodies, so I can't possibly disrespect them. ride we've had yet. You know, a straight line. <laughs> I need you to do that. I need you to, to do the pro crash salvage thing. Can I? It doesn't look like I have the ability to have them do that. Unfortunately. Well, well, I guess we're going home now. Ah, uh, Tally has it? Character sheet? Um, well, so it looks- oh, I have no idea. No, the one thing she doesn't have is electronics. We uh, we are not good with technology. Okay, uh, how do I go return to Normandy? So we've got everything. We good? some ore on the planet? Oh no, do we have to navigate back to it or is we going to save our spot? Oh. Oh, cool, we could go back. I don't think it's too late. Okay, so next planet is this one. Oh no. <laughs> So I'd have to just wander around till I find it. Good to know. I'll keep an eye out in the future. All right. Altaya is an unusually large terrestrial world with a trace atmosphere of methane and ammonia. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of sandstone and other sedimentary rocks with deposits of iron and chlorides. Judging by the sedimentary composition of the crust, it appears that Altaya once possessed an atmosphere thick enough to support some form of liquid. What cataclysms stripped the atmosphere and let the planet to freeze is not currently known. Okay, I will definitely keep an eye out for them. Okay, and then the next one is this guy. Oh, this is the one who's sending meteors towards us. Ontomalka is a large hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and sulfur in the atmosphere. Its massive gravity well tugs many asteroids from the outer belt inwards, past the orbit of Altaya and Endless, and eventually settle into the inner belt, which is why there's so many meteors on Endless. On Tamalka's orbit is congested with hundreds of captured moons. Most last only a few thousand years before being ejected, dragged down into the atmosphere, or ripped apart by tidal forces and added to the gas giants and springs. Well, attempting to navigate this chaotic environment is hazardous and vast. Ships without military grade kinetic barriers are likely to suffer catastrophic impacts. So let's just survey it. Hydrogen. Good. That's always good. 
All right, so now we have our asteroid belt. I know that you can see the star glimmering on it, but it's just easier for me to just run my mouse over the area. No glimmers. A glimmer in the other belt. We did that one, right? There are none in that one? Is there one in all of them, or is it just sometimes? There. I saw that one. Alright. Oh, it's because we... Oh. No, it usually pinpoints. Huh. Well, I didn't see one in that one, so... I didn't see a pinpoint location in the asteroid belt. I'll sage. Small, distant Alsage sage is a small terrestrial with trace atmosphere of methane and argon. The surface is composed of water, ice, and calcium, with occasional deposits of light metals. During the Alliance's pirate suppression campaign in the 2160s, the Batarian Elwam <laughs> Ronpra was caught with his frigate Tunaren grounded on Alsage's before drive discharge. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like there was a problem with the ship. When challenged by the Crusader uh, Hyderabad, Ran Para refused to surrender. The Tunaren was destroyed, attempting to take off. The debris is strewn across the southern hemisphere. Rare element! Plutonium. Cool. Alright, so don't worry that there wasn't anything in this asteroid belt. Let's just do it one more time. I'm not sure whether I either just like somehow glossed over it. Aww. Ooh, Tengu. I love Tengus. Thank you so much for the follow. I think my favorite Tengu is in Kamisama Kiss. Or Hajime uh, Mashima Kiss. Depending on which language you want uh, to discuss it in. Well, if you little icon too, it's so cute. Alright, I, I genuinely don't think there was a little treat in that asteroid belt. So, let's just move on to the next system. Mm. Ooh, Athens. Oh, these are all Greek. I feel like that's just all we're going to do today, is just explore Salamis. So, they're just... Oh, Nausicaa! Good Miyazaki movie. Yes. And I'm really enjoying Mass Effect. <coughs> oh, between? Okay, so what I'll do is I'll finish the system. And then we can go... <coughs> Sorry, I'm choking on my own saliva. Um, and then we can go back to the Citadel. Once we finish the exploring here. And it makes sense. Whoever's naming them is probably going to do it all at the same time and in a scheme. Seems reasonable. Alright. Salamis. The little geological, geological properties of Salamis have been scanned from orbit. But little else is known about it. Due its thick carbon dioxide atmosphere and proximity to the energetic star Athens, the equatorial daytime temperatures have been known to turn the surface molten. Oof. The crust is composed of iron with deposits of platinum and other metals. Alright. Proteus. Oh, I was gonna hope we could land here and maybe there would have been pro <gasps> Oh, so we could not land. Protean ruins. Like the Hanar homeworld, Proteus has more than 90% oceanic cover. The incredible heat thrown off from Athens raises global humidity to 100%, creates constant cloud cover, and powers colossal typhoons that rage across the surface year-round. Oof, not fun. Hot, humid, and storm-wracked, Proteus's rare combination of oxygen, nitrogen, and atmosphere in carbon-based biosphere nevertheless recommended for colonization. A pilot program is studying the possibility of colonies below the ocean surface, safe from the worst effects of the weather. Cool. A more charm. A 
And yeah, I just have to level up some more, I guess, eventually, as we get more experience. Free oxygen. All right, let's check this asteroid belt, see if he's got a treat scene. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Yeah, I keep hearing mixed reviews of, of Andromeda. And I mean, and clearly I haven't played any Mass Effect until now, so I can't really make any sort of judgment call on it. But I think it seemed to me people were expecting it to still be, at least in some ways, a continuation of this series. And it's just wholly not, and I think expectations were misaligned, and therefore people were upset. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Travis. <laughs> That's very sweet of you. Good night! Right, and, and that's a hard thing about not continuing the series, is because once you've really kind of closed off that narrative, anything you do extra is just going to be like, oh, hey, Salt, what's up? I like your name. <laughs> and I love the little icon. I need to get better versed in the like, Twitch icons so my like emoji game is strong. Okay, Nausicaa. Yes, yes. Of the wind. Traces of sodium in the atmosphere gave Nausicaa's overall dark gray color but it is otherwise a typical hydrogen-helium gas giant. An abundance of water vapor in the upper atmosphere would account for its white clouds. Pretty. All right, next one, Circe. Circe is a modestly sized hydrogen-helium gas giant with traces of sulfur and chlorine. These give it its striking yellow-green tint. As the development of the Proteus colony continues, Circe will likely be developed for helium-3 mining. Mm. Survey it for helium-3. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, the last one out in the farthest orbit. Where is he? The Pharos. Oh, is the animation still that bad? I always thought that it was just a meme and it was just like in early development and that shit got fixed when Andromeda came out. I mean, of course I've seen the like, the, the, the outcry that was initial. All right. Distant Pharos has seen only a cursory examination by an unmanned probe. It is a trace atmosphere of nitrogen and argon. Its surface is mainly composed of tin with deposits of carbon. Deeper craters have been partially filled by ice, suggesting there may be a significant amount of water locked up beneath its frozen surface. A large, ice-bright crater in the southern hemisphere makes the planet visible from the inner system, leading to the planet's name. Cool. Sorry, catching up on chat real quick. Nice. And I love that these games have so much replay value. Um, Mass Effect as well as Dragon Age, because you can make so many different combinations of characters, of romance options, of choices, dialogue options. It's... Bioware does a really good job. Alright, let's survey it. Turian Insignia scans the planet Pharos revealed an abandoned base on its moon. The recon team found nothing of interest, but much of the debris was marked with the Magna Colony Insignia. Interesting. Aw, that's unfortunate about the characters in Andromeda. All right, let's see. Last one for this system, Artemis Tau, Macedon. Yes. Yeah, I love Femship, she's great. And I finally got my wig stand in today so I can start working on the cosplay again. Y'all, it's really hard to cut a wig when it's on your head. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that's great. That's gonna be so much fun. Oh man. Dia was such a good ride. Chargela. Right? Oh my god, that's literally me with Inquisition. Because I played Inquisition first and I didn't even know about the other two games in the series, replaying it with all that knowledge, it's it's so mind blowing. Like, was it? Oh no, it's the episode you guys are gonna see tomorrow if you watch it same day. Um, I I almost almost cry during the episode because it's just there's so much more weight to it. I care so more so much more about the universe and the characters and what's happening to them. We're, it's we're playing in Hush Whispers right now, which is the mage quest, the Lexius, and oof, it's it's a lot. This is such a great series. All right, warning: level one pressure hazard. Oh, but we can land. Chargela has a very dense atmosphere of ammonia and oxygen. Its temperate surface is mainly composed of alumina, with deposits of sulfur. Calm buoys in the system have recently logged a number of unregistered vessels operating nearby. Does that mean we're in for some combat? Chargela has an extensive silicon base, oxygen breathing, ecology. Heavily populated areas. Oh, he's dreaming. Oh. Um, uh, heavily populated areas are covered with fine silica, silicon dioxide, dust, the respiratory byproduct of the world's uh, higher animal forms. Ooh, there's creatures. High speed surface winds, lots of laden with abrasive silica dust, present a hazard. In areas where the wind deposits a great deal of silica, footing can be treacherous. EVAs are discouraged. What is an EVA? I'm gonna link it here anyways, but. Yeah. Yeah, Dragon Age. Oof. Um. Uh, we'll take these two because we haven't yet. I'm glad that y'all are having a nice little discussion about the quality and playability of Andromeda. Thank you guys for being chill. Yeah, an anthem isn't even... Mm. Alright. Let's do this first since it's... Ah, shit. Right click. Since it's here. Gonna go. Okay, good. Bring exactly where we need to go. I didn't even realize this was a mechanic of the game, and I'm really enjoying it. I just think it's boring. Yeah, that's kind of the best way to do it. Is people can say the games are, are are not their jam, have this pro and this con, and, but everybody's different, right? We're not all going to enjoy the same parts of the game. Or en route. What is this big bad boy? Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, let's at least give it a shot. Oh shit. Oh no, I touched it. My mouse is not reliable. Shit. Why is it not letting me go? Sorry, I kept swinging my mouse around to get more traction and it kept bopping me back into the middle. Oh well, it's okay, we'll just bypass it. Thank you very much. Alright. You lead. I'll follow. Let's get moving. Ooh, look at your helmet. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Tally's just ready to go already. Hazard meter bottom right? Okay, so what happens? 
what happens if it, it gets to a different degree? So it, it, will it become like a level two? Actually, let me let's go there. For, actually, we probably got to do here first. I'm trying to get as much done as I can. We definitely have to go this way if we're going to traverse it. Oh shit! Okay, then I'll make quick work. Shit, you see that? What is that? Like a tower or something? Is that where we need to be going? It is not. It is definitely this way that we need to go. I don't have time to check that out. Yeah, didn't even the third one have a lot of uh, criticism? People didn't like the way it ended, if I remember? I don't know what the ending is, I don't know anything more than just that, but... Oh, he's dreaming. Yeah. I'm not sure why. But I, I guess we'll get there when we get there, huh? They did kind of fix it? That's, that's reassuring. I like when games like take into consideration the wants and needs of its player base. What is this? Um, no, I just wanted to zoom out, but I guess that's not possible. Oh, capsule. Oh, I gotta be close enough. Cool. Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. Oh, I was so close. Oh. It's r I need to turn down my mouse sensitivity or something. It's really hard when I have to swing it around a lot. Oh, okay. Okay, matrix. Oh, shit. Matrix, right? Just go right Is it like. Okay, not the one that we're concerned about. It's not clear who lived here, but it appears to have been abandoned for some time. Oh, shit. We gotta get out. We gotta get out. We gotta go. We gotta do the last one. Is this when we start taking damage? Oh, no, it's just we couldn't stay outside of our vehicle. Okay. Okay, let's put this here. Oh, look, is that ore? The orange stuff that just showed up on our mini-map? Okay, yeah. Do we have to have a particular companion to mine it? My mouse, though. Please, mouse, just go. Go, go, go! <laughs> oh, I hate Frogger! Okay. Okay. Let's go, let's go. So it looks like we can be here in the Mako. Mako? Mako? Um, but just not outside of it. Yeah, you have a good time there, the car. Alright, we almost headed there. Oh, looks like there's a base something rather right up there. It looks like we can follow that pathway and take us up to the right. Oh, but it, are there bad things? I see red. What are those? What are oh shit, 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 shit. I 
Oh no, not done, not done. Not done. <laughs> I, uh, I wish I could like even speak of that song, but I don't want to get copyright struck. Oh, can we go in right there? I'm just gonna run this over casually for me. Oh no, no, oh no. Okay, so you're gonna All right. <laughs> On route. Oh, Art Jerk. That's such a cute name. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> I feel bad that it's like right now just watching me. Oh, and just a bit pissed. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just running around in this car being awful. All right. What do we actually have here? A save? Whoop. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. Oh, fuck, I see them all. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright. Give me good luck, kitten boy. Can you guys even see him in his box? Oh, he just popped his head up. <laughs> what a sweet baby. Alright. Hostile contact! Go, go, go! Where? Somebody come into my line of sight Enemy first. Is everywhere! So I don't have to blow my cover. Oh, I see you back there, but is this my pistol? No, I want my pistol. There we go. I was like, that looks not like it's supposed to. I'm gonna let him get closer. Or maybe not. I'm I on it. wanna get out of here. There's that one over here. I don't want him to sneak up either. Can I get him all the way over there? No. And of course I just used all my abilities. Don't we have Rex? Why isn't he running at things? Rex, you're literally doing nothing. You're letting Tally and I do all the work. Thank you. <laughs> 369 gallons of glitter. Oh my god. That's amazing. Okay. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> oh, oh. Probably watch your head, sweetheart. Enemy is everywhere! Rex, do I need to just run out into here? Hold Do those things, my guy. You must die. Oh, shit, is that a fucking abort mission? Abort. I don't want it. There's one right there. Did I just get biotic? <gasps> we good? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I can't save? Let me save. Perimeter clear. Yeah, autosave is very nice. It's like such a commonplace mechanic. That, like in games like this, I forgot that we don't have it. Oh, excuse me, the hiccups. Ugh. All right, let's look around. I can't be the only person who like what I just did. I like looked. Ooh. Oh no! I tried to jump. I tried to jump. I'm sorry. 
mount? No, I want that. There we go. Whew. <laughs> Thankfully, it was just that one. I'm not... I'm not experiencing a bunch of them, thank god. That would be the worst thing to start- Oh no, actually I like sneeze seven to nine times in a row every time I need to sneeze. Not just like rapid fire, but like probably anywhere from like 15 to 30 seconds apart. That shit's annoying. Alright. Yes. Mass Effect 2. I'm excited about it. I've got all my cosplays for the thumbnail like planned out too. <laughs> I'm excited to finish this one. It's just going to be um, more casual because I want to... A, it's the pandemic and it's really hard to get materials. I want it to build as we progress to the series. Like, um, you know, kind of alongside where Shepard would be in her journey. I mean, she's already a Spectre now, but I, I can't, you know, start out at Spectre. I would have nowhere to go. As far as, like, nowhere to progress. Oh. I'm so garbage at this. Ah, oh, fuck. Swung it too fast. Yes. Alright, ooh, three? Yes, yes, yes. Two is your favorite? So, do most of you prefer two over three? Is that the only... Oh, there's a quest? Did I just miss it? Hello, little BB! <laughs> oh... There's a quest. It, supposedly looking at it? Maybe it's upstairs. Because I don't see anything in here. Oh, okay, good. Thank goodness. I'm not the only person who hasn't played these. Hello, little baby. What are you doing in there? Are you being sweet, precious boy? I'm sad you guys can't see him super much. But he's very cute. Sitting in his little box. See? He's just sitting. Being a good boy. Cute nugget. Okay. Let's get back to it. So I'm just going to assume the quest is upstairs because there's clearly an upper level. And it looks like we can get up there too. So. Good. Then I'm really excited for two. Where else can we go though? Ah. Hallway this way. To go out though? Yes. What? Yo no comprendo. Am I missing something? Yeah, I need to go up, but how? It says this is where the hallway is. Stairs are around the boxes. Okay. Oh, fucking rip. I'm just gonna keep like burying my face in this box so it'll move for me. Alright. Sweet kitten baby. Now we should be able to go and check out exactly this quest marker. Yep, potato. That's me right now, being a potato. Directions are hard. It's no tally. Hey, I'm right here. You won't. You wanna? No. You discover evidence that the Asari leading these what? Leading these slavers and the sauna. Dantes, an important ambassador to the Citadel, are sisters. You should return to the Presidium and confront Masana with this. Sweet! That's nifty. Oh, interesting. Thank you for that. That helps me build better parties in the future. Malfunctioning object? Okay. 
Thank you. Let's just check down here to make sure we don't miss anything. Because that's a weird boy. He's just a little like... <laughs> we're just gonna stare it down. A little beacon guy? Alright. Uh, it's okay. We can't bring all of them with us, so we'll just have to like do our best. All right. So I think that's everything on this planet. Whoop. I think we just head back to the Normandy. We even got our ore. Oh. Alright, let's get back to our vehicle. Can we just do anything here? No, we gotta be in, in the Mako. Alright. Wait. But we got the quest. We got the quest! Is there something else? Did I miss something? Looks like where the quest marker is. Oh, it's a bug? Okay, thank god. I was like... Uh, oh wait, fuck. That's the wrong way. Alright, 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 alright. There's some shit. In. Take me home. Alright. such a cool functionality. And this music is very relaxing. Okay. So that means this one's next. Poroland. I'm sad it's not Poroland. Because Poros are those cute little fluffy dudes from the Legends. Poroland is an enormous terrestrial planet, half again the size of Earth. Despite its thick atmosphere, the weak output of the red dwarf mastodon leaves its surface biting cold. The crust is mainly composed of silica, but significant deposits of iron and other industrial metals are present. These loads may prove rich enough to be profitably mined, despite the heavy gravity. Ooh, more Matrix writings! I think this is the, the same Matrix from the piece we picked up on the last planet. You were scanning the planet Poroland when a strange signal came from orbit. Navigator Presley determined the signal was from an ancient beacon. Your salvage team brought the beacon aboard and found one of Matriarch Dil Dilanaga's writings in its storage compartment. We'll have to read the codex stuff. <laughs> Excuse me, some time later. God, it's like what? It's like 9.16, I think is what that says? I'm already sleeps. To be fair, I don't think I got that much sleep last night. Oh, yeah, so Merle and I made homemade uh, pina coladas, but without alcohol, because we don't really drink. Um, and apparently, underripe pineapple can make you hella sick. And so we were up, we had this at maybe like 10 o'clock at night. We were up to like almost 3, I want to say, maybe? Like, just like fucking sick. Like super sick. So I was like, why am I so sleepy? Because I slept like ass last night. <laughs> that's why. And that's why I haven't eaten much today, because I was really sick yesterday. I would never have thought, like, pineapple. Okay, Padavik. Padavik is the second of the Macedon system's giant terrestrial planets, and by far the more interesting. Most of the surface is covered by a vast sea of liquid ammonia, in which a unique aquatic ammonia-based biosphere is developed. While the frozen continents are largely bereft of life, a rich bounty of complex organisms, many larger than a human, flourish in the chilly, toxic seas. Wow, how cool. While dreadfully inhospitable to humans, Pathavik is suitable for colonization by the Volus. Negotiations between the Systems Alliance and the Volus patrons, the Turian hierarchy, have made good progress. Oh shit, that's right, the Turians kind of own the Volus and are really like... 
yeah, like, we got done with the PD class. I didn't even have that much. I didn't even have, like, a, a physical measuring cup's worth. And, like, the back of my throat felt like I was fighting off, like, a cold. You know how, like, it's really raw and raspy? Like, my mouth wasn't affected as much, but the back of my throat. And then it was, like, the unrelenting nausea, and you're like, oh, God. And I didn't know that that was a thing that pineapples did. Uh, the more you know. Alright, let's check this belt of asteroids. Oh, yes. Survey. Life metal. While scanning the asteroid field in the Artemis Tau cluster, you detect a large cluster of titanium. Cool. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I remember being like, ooh, ooh, about their, um, dynamic previously, but y'all clearly know way more about this than I do. Fargelus. Fargelus is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant with an abundance of airborne hydrocarbons. Yeah, got some xenon. Ah, uh, okay. Some more moon employment relationship. Alright, we're done here. I think that's all of this system, right? So what's out here? Holy shit, look at all of these. So many. Okay, so is it a good time to go back to the Citadel? I know we had a few things to do, so let's do that. So we'll go back to the Citadel and then we'll go out to Navaria and then we'll go back to the Citadel and then we'll go to Pharos and then we'll go back to the Citadel. I can always like leave the how can I can I check my stuff here? No, I can't. It'll be okay. Just fine. I guess this is the only thing you can do here is this at all. Yes, I would like to land here, please. So right when we get off, I'll check it. I think I have like five points in it. Stacking pretty high. Oh, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points in charm. And I got eight points to spend. I maxed out in charm, y'all. I don't get any more. Um, I cannot do medicine or electronics or s or wait, oh no, I can put points in this, right? Yeah, I I am I'm good on charm. Level up decryption, oh no. <laughs> uh. Unlock electronics. Let's try to get some of the little like so we can unlock stasis and lift. We want lift, I know. Stasis. Uh, I'm not. S I don't use my barrier very often, but I definitely want lift. And then what is this one? Advanced throw? Yeah, let's. Why not? So what is stasis? And it will move attack off. So I mean, oh no! Uh, that would be why I want to immobilize someone is to shoot them better. Electronics. What does overload do? medicine. Hmm. Oh no, that hurts my brain. <laughs> intimidate motivated buyer? I don't want to intimidate people though. Oh, what does this do? Oh, reduces cooldown? Um, sign me up. Okay. Good. Okay. We leveled. Sweet. Okay, let me save. Okay. 
we're almost at 9.30, so I'm probably just going to cut it a teensy bit early today. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out and enjoying this game with me. It's been so much fun to play through this. And to have your feedback is just, oh, the stat. Good book. Thank you so much for the follow. And I love vampires. We had that vampire, the, the Requiem game we're still playing, and I just like, love, love, love. Oh, thank you for the bit. Um, I don't feel super bad right now. I did manage to eat some dinner, um, so I'm pretty good. But it was just like, last night was not a fun night. Um, yeah, I'm glad you had a good time, Trench. I had a good time, too. This game is just really nice. Nugget sat here with me the whole time, just being cute, baby. He's sleeping, and I'm probably going to put up the next episode of Mass Effect so it's way behind where we are now on YouTube, though, for the people who want to watch it there. Oh, you waking up? No, I'm going back to sleep. All right, guys. It's been super fun. Uh, next time, we'll rock around the Citadel. We'll make sure that we pick up any new quests that we need to, check in with everybody, and then if there's nothing else for us to do in Citadel, we'll head back out and either head to Navaria or Pharos. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you on Thursday. Same time.